Hi, I'm Cameron Evans, and we're here in Phoenix, Arizona at Air Raid Filter Company, manufacturers of cold air intake systems for trucks, SUVs, and the muscle car market. There's a lot of engineering and serious, serious technology that goes into their manufacturing. We're here, so let's go take a look. Air Raid's performance goal is horsepower and torque for your truck or SUV, and the nerve center for that entire design starts right in here. This is the CAD center, or computer aided design center, where the manufacturing, the fitment, and the actual performance and airflow all starts really in math. Here in the background, you can see actually how they design a system to fit perfectly within the confines of the original equipment under the hood scenario. Now we're here in what I like to call Air Raid's man cave. Some of their guys like to call it the R&D room, other guys call it the dyno room, depending on what their particular roles are. Regardless, this is where all the technology that's developed in-house actually gets fitted to vehicles tested on the dyno. Now, one thing that's pretty obvious, but we have to bring it up here, is that all three of the different types of Air Raid cold air intake systems all feature an Air Raid premium air filter. And one of the most important parts of that design is the SynthaFlow technology, that last layer of protection inside this filter that actually filters at a micron level that's just not available any, in any other type of filter. Now let's move on to the three different types of systems. First, you'll find the classic system. This is really what put Air Raid on the map. This particular system is for a you know, late 90s Chevy truck, and they're still available in all those early applications. The quick fit application, this one here for a Dodge Cummins, uses a lot of the original equipment pieces, some pieces from Air Raid, and makes a pretty good gain in power and torque. Finally, there's the CAD system, or cold air dam. This one is from the latest Toyota Tundra. Now, you may look at it and say, wow, there's not that much going on here. There's a lot of technology and design that goes into all these different pieces. When it comes to Air Raid's CAD designs, note that the difference really is in the details. Check out this rollout. This is actually where the system meets the hood of the vehicle and traps out the hot air from the system. If this is to leak at any point, obviously you're pretty much defeating the purpose of having an air box on your car. The whole point is sealing in the cold air, and this is very well designed to do that job. Another thing to notice is the shape and size of the box. When you tip into the gas, you need air available to the air filter. So this system actually balances the air on the outside of the filter and the inside of the filter. As, it's, as it makes its way back to the tube, it's very important to note the type of materials that the tube is made from. Now the classic system may have that mandrel bent metal tubing that you're used to seeing a lot of these kits. When you use a rotiform kit like this, it's actually that CAD design we showed you in the computer room going to work. You can design into much tighter areas and features on this. It helps for packaging, but it also helps in control airflow. One last detail to notice is these inserts. Instead of having self-tapping screws that are gonna wear themselves out, probably not gonna fit the best, and they may not last as long, every Air Raid kit has these type of inserts, so you're guaranteed the fitment and quality that is really what you're paying for with an Air Raid system. We're back in Air Raid's R&D facility now on the chassis dyno with a diesel truck. And when you think about it, 10 years ago, who would have ever thought that 300 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque would be so easily achieved with relatively stock original equipment trucks? You and I know that's the case. Air Raid's coal air intake systems are a major league part of any enthusiast planning for making power. Because after all, a diesel engine requires seven times the amount of air of that on the gasoline engine. Now, consider this. When you start changing turbos and changing tuning, you're asking for more and more air. Now, realize that a Chevy truck like this, a Duramax, Air Raid's already got a system available on the market. But this one is a prototype. You can tell by the white color from the prototype machine. This prototype is being developed so you can make sure that there's absolutely no way that you could need more air than their kit could provide. Let's see what this thing can do on the chassis dyno now.
Here at Air Raid, it's not all just about SUVs and trucks. Muscle cars also make a big influence on this building. When it comes to the latest Chryslers, the big buzz on TV is, hey, does that thing have a Hemi in it? What you really should be asking is, does that Hemi have an Air Raid on it? This is the kit for the 6.1 Hemi that you'll find in the 300C, the SRT8. This makes 16 horsepower in the real world. We're talking Arizona heat. That's really not bad. Another muscle car that's a big deal to everyone at Air Raid is the Mustang. They make 17 horsepower on the latest cars. And as you see here, this is a new kit right off the prototype machine for the SN95. This kit's actually made 16 horsepower just as you see it. It's proof in the pudding here that at Air Raid, the cars from the parking lot are actually what's providing some of the R&D. Whether we're talking about muscle cars, trucks, or SUVs, I must admit that I'm pretty impressed with the quality that's gone into so much of the details and components on these air raid systems. I mean, look here, stainless steel on the hose clamps, the way they organize all the fasteners so that you don't lose them. And this 2008 Silverado kit, it's a great example of how they use the factory locations. You're not gonna have to cut anything up to install one of these systems. Another thing to consider is Air Raid's warranty. They advertise no hassle where they really do mean it. Whether you fill out your card and send it in, or whether you check in online, or if you give them a call. If there's any problem with anything on a kit or a filter, they'll simply replace it. It really is no hassle. When you consider everything we've seen today, from concept to design, engineering, installation, the prototypes, all of this included, I think we all have to admit, Air Aid really is simply better. Thanks for watching, I'm Cameron Evans.